Good morning. Um, okay, so I thought I would do another template. I figured it was time for that. And we are on number six. The Curvy Gake Fold. So I'm going to stick that here. Simple template. It looks like they gave us both mats and layers. So we're going to be good with that. I've got white paper and then I've got a, a paper out of the wildflower paper pad. Just because i seen this and I thought, well, okay. Okay. This is probably the closest I have to that. And I might as well just do that, right? I didn't um, grab anything for that back layer. I have to think about that. I have to think about that. Probably will be black. Um, okay, so I'm just going to stick it here. Put my embossing tool. And... I'm going to emboss the outline. Just trying to hold it down good enough so my paper don't move. And embossing it firm enough that I'm definitely going to see. Now this one, the lines don't seem to be quite as thick as they normally are. Unless I'm holding my stylus or whatever you want to call it stylus or embossing tool at a bigger angle okay now i'm going to do the score lines which are going to be of all these lines that you see here it says score and it goes to the middle line so of all those lines i'm going to score that middle one And the same for this side. It says score goes right to that, which is the middle line. The others are for your matte layers. Okay. So now I have it all embossed. And now it's time to cut it out. And I'm just following the lines. And I know you probably can't see them on the camera. But since I took away the silicone mat, they're definitely easier for me to see. Now instead of trying to just go in with all this paper and do this curve... I'm going to cut that away, come up to the curve, start the curve. I'm just going to cut that away. I don't like messing with all that extra paper, so I just cut it away when I can. And it... It helps, it makes it easier. And you know, if you're doing like fussy cut and cut that big extra stuff away, it just gets in your way and it's not necessary for it to be there. So, unless you need it to hold on to, which I don't know why you would, but you know, everybody, everybody's crafting techniques are different but 
Okay, see now it's just nice, easy, handleable, and I can come in. I'm missing my line. No, I'm not. I'm right on the line. I don't know if you can tell, but I kind of got my scissors curved. They're like turned this way instead of straight up and down. And I don't know. Seems like it's helping. I don't know what made me do it coming around that curve or something. But that made it pretty good for me. There's a little bit of... Okay, in this side. I'm just kind of curving them scissors and going down in it. Seems to be helping me get that curve. curve it too soon okay and that's basically it other than the mat layer so let me just fold that in and get the burnishing tool and they look lined up real well and then this Turned out good. My curves worked well. That's the card. Right there. I mean, that's quick, easy, done. So let's get some black card in here. And I'm going to try to use some of you know what I might do? I got scraps. I don't know. And I don't know if I can get them all in there or not. These are going to be for the bigger layers, and then I use the paper on the inside layers. So these are the outer, paper is the inner. So let's see if I can get them all on here. So it's going to be here. I'm going to put this this way. There's one. Now let me see if I can get this other one here on this side. So it's the outside one. And let me see if I cleared that other one. Yep. Okay, so it's this outside one.
Okay. There's those two. Now the inside. This should be pretty good. Yay, I was able to use my scraps. So I'm gonna line this to that. I think it needs to come in a little bit more. There. I think that's it. And it's the outside one. And there's that one. Oh, that wasn't smooth right there, so let me trim this smooth. Oop. This is still gonna work, I hope. I don't know how I missed that. <laughs> Ever filed it down? You can. I have. Um, I don't know if it would work on all of them. But I have filed rough edges on paper before. Uh, not filed, but um, I guess so. Sandpaper. Good. That's the middle one. Ooh. Boy, that leaves a lot of space, doesn't it? That shows a lot of the white. That's okay. We're still going to use theirs. Oh, there's a big old moth on the outside of the window. Thank goodness he was on the outside. And these two should line up because I used the same outer lines on them and a little bit of unsmooth here now. Okay. Hmm. What this I'm gonna Cut straight down the middle and then trim it away. I don't know what baby's in there carrying on for. Uh. Sending kisses and everything right now. Yep, my cuts are not real smooth on this. I don't like that jacket look. So I might be trimming it a little bit, but. I need to smooth that out. That looks better. Way better. Okay. And this one, we go this way. It turned out pretty good. Okay. I'm happy with those. I'm going to glue those down. I'm going to get my glue. 
Let's try the regular this time. Let me start with the inside piece. This, this side is cleaner. It's got something here, but let me... I mean, it could just be part of the paper, but it just shows us something. It looks like a maybe some glue or something got stuck in there. Uh, I ended up with that side. Oh, maybe this was in there too, so maybe. Maybe it was on the other side also. I don't know. See where that paper is not even. That's probably my paper trimmer did that. Because you remember I started it off on the side. Okay. So that's down, now we gotta do this one. So with the diamond press glue, so far I don't have a problem with the glue. Um, I haven't used it a lot, but I haven't had any problems with it. So, that's nice, but even if I did, the bottles are everything I expected them to be, and I expect that I would be keeping these bottles for a very long time. These bottles, I waited a long time for somebody to do something. like this. I mean, we can't lose it. The tops, you know, like I always lose that little pin. Always. Then I'm going to take it out of another one, which means then that bottle is useless, right? Unless I save the pin, but then like I said, you're always losing the pin. So then the pin comes out of the next bottle and it's like mm, So, I am very happy with this. Just the big lid. You know, that's all somebody had to do was come up with the big lid. And then, of course, I'm watching Viani yesterday. And she said that somebody had pointed out, hey, these are big. And then store that glue upside down. So, I mean, at this point, I don't need to. There's plenty of glue in there. But when your glue gets low, yep, store it upside down. And then you have no problems. So that, you know, it really works. Love the bottles. So like I said, even if I never buy the glues again, I don't know about the glue yet. I'm I'm not saying I'm not. I'm just saying that right now, um, I haven't made any judgment on the glue either way. So, I'm trying to figure out this way. So since I did the other layers where I started in the corner and did it that way. I want to do that again. Because I want my layers to be even. But I don't. I don't have a corner to. Unless I do it upside down. Wait, maybe I can do. Now, see, these are different. Why are they different? I guess I could... How did I do that? Would I have to cut? I would have to cut from this side. It would have to be my corners, 
right? Or like that. I could do this. That's what I need to do, I guess. Just because I want them to even out. And so, let me move this over. I realize I'm out of my mark, so. I kind of had to turn it upside down and then go to the inside of, go to the inside, I guess I don't, let's see, that would be the wrong mat. I need this here. I want to be able to get them to line up. So, I guess that will go off in that. So, I'm in the last line. So, I need that to go off. And then the farthest side away goes off, I would say. Just to make sure that they're cut the same as this outer. Since with this outer, I did this outside and this outside here to make these line up perfect like I want them to. I could be that much. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just be that a little bit more. Or it's just a black, right? It's just a black. So if the mat is a little bit bare, then that's okay. All right, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to go with that. But I do want it. at the bottom. There, that way. I'm lined up with the flowers. And then I'll probably cut it out or cut that line and then come in and do the other one so that they line up and the picture continues. I want my picture to continue. You don't have to have yours continue but I want mine to continue. I don't plan on doing a lot of embellishing on this with this, this flower. I like the, the flower card, but it's almost a little too busy for me. It's pretty, but it's busy to me, so I don't know. Embellishing maybe could take some of it out of it. I don't know, but at this point, I just don't want to make it busier. To, for me, we all have our own personal preferences, but for me, that's how I feel. So, now the other side is very mellow right there's nothing to it but I want the pattern I want to make sure I can see my lines it's a pretty small layer as a matter of fact if I hadn't followed their layers There's a big chance I wouldn't have used them. This ends up pretty small. So I probably would have made my own. I would have used... Where's my card? I would have made my own first layer in here somewhere to fall in here. And then this would have been my inside layer because 
this way till you see how small, how small this is. You'll know what I'm talking about as soon as you see it. Now I gotta find it again. See how small? Don't tell me I have this. Did I do this backwards? Yeah, I did it backwards. The only way to make it fit is turn it. I don't want to do that, but look at how look at how small that layer is. I want it this. How did I do it backwards? I guess I did need to flip this. Yeah, it's backwards here. So, it's backwards there, so I needed to flip it. Okay. That means I gotta start over. Now I gotta pick a new seam that I want. I wanted that first scene, but maybe. Is that too much up? I could go this way. I don't like that as much though. I like that. So let me. And that's not gonna fit there, but it would fit here. And then those would be here. All right. All right. I'm gonna place it where I want it on my flower. And I'm looking at the inside lines of this. Waste in paper, aren't I? Maybe I should just do this one and then go over here. Okay, okay. I'm not going to waste that much paper. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, because we're in the bottom one. So, do I core more? Hmm. See that one, I can almost get the whole flower on this one. I can't, because it doesn't start to here. And it is very small piece. So, that's not, that gets the whole flower there on. That would work right there and then right here I think would fit still because this would end here. So 
from there to there. It'll fit. Okay, I'm going to move to this corner. No, no, no. That doesn't work either. Because this... I'm going to have to turn it. No. This would be the other side. So then I'd have to come this way. So I'm not crazy about that either. So I guess I'll come back over here. This is my first, my first one. Uh, spending too much time thinking about it, huh? Okay. This is my first one, and then my second one. It's gonna be, let me get this away carefully. I want to leave the paper behind in good shape. So that I can use it. Hopefully. Okay, so this could go here, see, and then my next one will go around this, see how big that mat is, it's huge, then my next one will go here and hopefully complete that pattern. Then this one should go here. It should fit really nice. I don't know why I'm having problems. They should fit together. Did I have that angled? Okay. I guess I'm gonna Turn that little bit off. Let 
thought it would have been that much of a difference. You can see a difference in the shape. So, yeah, you definitely can. That means I gotta cut some off right here. And then, here mm. they should be the same shape but they're not Okay, so I'm going to cut this one here. I'm going to cut this one down. can't cut up so if it's not working out it's got to be cut down right there now they look more like there's my Nikolai let me get regular get my glue in here It is a bigger stream, even though I'm allowing for a bigger stream because it's a matte layer and not something real thin, but it is coming out of its own, I guess, a bigger stream out of the regular. Alright, now it needs to dry. And we already determined that this glue is not going to hold a bow because... Now that's, that's upside down. This is the way it goes. So you can see it's the same flowers, right? I just kind of cut it off there. That's why it would be nice maybe for these, like for the black to go up closer here, and then for this to be more the size of the black or maybe even a little bit bigger. Um. So you can show that off a little bit better that you've continued your pattern. Now, if you're just using a, oh, another pattern, it's not that big a deal. But if you're continuing a pattern, you kind of want people to know that you've continued that pattern. Just because it takes more effort and you want people to know that. Look what I did. I did that. Here's one of my bows. 
Um, there's too much greenery on the bottom. I guess I should have done something with that. I wonder if that would be better there. But no. If this is going to go anywhere, it needs to go here. Trim it down. Trim my little tails. Okay, there's my tail smaller, that'll work. Hmm. Let me see if my glue gun's plugged in. I don't think it is because it's, no, no, it's not. Because I guess that's what turns it on. There's no on and off switch. Uh, you can tell. I haven't used this yet. Maybe I did once. Why don't they just make one you can plug in? I mean, you can turn on and off. I don't use a glued that gun that often. Holy, look what I got, though. This will hold it because I've done it before. So let's excuse my reach and put some tacky glue. This glue doesn't hold it, but tacky glue I've had some pretty good success with. Now I don't know about this ribbon, but the other ribbon. And actually, here. I don't know better. Yeah. That yellow looks pretty good on there too, huh? I think it does. Oh, it'll hold it. It's done it for me lots of time. Like I said, maybe not this ribbon. Maybe this ribbon is going to be difficult even for the tacky glue. Um, what else do I have to put on here? Huh. Maybe it's not going to hold that. It might help if I'm actually in the glue. That doesn't work. I'll just look at what I got here for embellishments to see if there's anything. I don't have anything. <laughs> no. I guess I can't blame it on the glue because the tacky glue doesn't want to hold it either. So it must be the material of this. Um, my claw glue is... I don't know where. <laughs> I don't know where my new tubes are. My old tube all dried up. Look at that, it's not even, not even close to holding it. If I had glue dots, those would work. So, I don't believe I have any glue dots. I do have, I have double-sided tape.
I have red liner tape. Maybe that's what I need. Sticky on the sides. Red liner. Sticky on the, oh, sticky. Sticky. I don't want to use my good scissors. I'm sorry about it. I just don't like using my good scissors on sticky like this. Okay, let's see. I just, I would use my glue gun, but um, it's very hard to get to the plug. That's one of the things I gotta fix. Come on, red liner tape. Oh, I've got it by George. <laughs> okay, there we go. A red liner tape. There's glue still on there, that tacky glue. So it should be pretty good, I would think. I don't know. I've never used tape. Like that, but that works. And then you open it up. I wish I had something. What they've done now, they say this is gonna fold flat into a five by seven. Flattens to seven by five. Mm -mm. No, it's not. It is four by six, and so it is, it is not five by seven. Um, they used paper from the same paper pad, and then they just put a sentiment in there. So I put some gems around here. Um, Really, that's all they did. So, that might even be from the set in that we got with it, the die set. But, anyways, there's the um, curvy gatefold. It's cute, it's easy. Curvy gatefold. You know, yeah. Makes sense it's not five by seven. That would have been really hard, right? Okay. All right, everybody. If you like my channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for joining me. And I hope you join me again. Everybody be blessed.